Good afternoon, I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this video. We're looking here at a factoring and partial fraction decomposition trick. These two go hand in hand, especially when you're looking at something like this, an integral which has a quadratic equation in the making. When you're looking at something like this, think completing by the square technique. Look at the denominator only, x squared minus 2x, all of that equaling a zero. Complete the square and convert this into a complete format equation. You would complete it, you'll have x squared minus 2x, here you'll have a plus 1 is equal to a 1. You will complete the square in this next step, you'll have x minus 1 whole square minus 1 is equal to 0. All of this is very well that if you were to open it, you'd have x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 1, which would give you x squared minus 2x, so you know you are on the right track. This is equal to that, and we need to make this switch. We, let's make this switch. Let me, before erasing it, identify the new format right over here. We're looking at now what looks like dx over x minus 1 whole square minus 1. That's what I want to do. That conversion will make it easy. When you're looking at that, you're really looking at something which looks like x minus 1 whole square minus 1 square, which is a square minus b square. And right there is perfect. a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b, which is exactly what we'll do with this. You're looking at this, you're looking at x minus 1 minus 1, that's my a minus b, and then we're looking at x minus 1 plus 1, which is my a plus b, and everything is seemingly falling into place. And now integrating that using partial fraction decomposition is easy. You have a expression here with two factors, therefore you're looking at two items in your template. One is x minus 1 minus 1, but open it up. x minus 1 minus 1 is x minus 2. The other factor must be this, x minus 1 plus 1, which is just an x. These are reduced or reducible linear factors which have been finally reduced to this. And now you have this template, two items. You know the drill from here. Common denominator x and x minus 2 and then you do a goes in that, x times b goes in that, x minus 2 times. If you want, you can very well eliminate this because you won't use this denominator again. And all of this will equal to what? It will equal to your original numerator which is right here, an imaginary 1 with a placeholder 0x. We have ax plus bx minus 2b is equal to 0x plus 1. Combine the like terms. You have this, this, and this, and then you have that and that. You have a, a plus b is equal to a 0. Then you have a minus 2b is equal to a 1, which means b is equal to minus 1 or 2. And then based on this, a is equal to positive 1 or 2 because the sum of these two will give you that 0. So we know we're looking at a 1 or 2 comma minus 1 or 2 in terms of a and b which you can very well fit right over here and we will do so. When I fit that a I'm looking at a 1 and then I'm looking at this. See 1 or 2 x minus 2. When I'm fitting this minus 1 or 2 I'm converting this into a minus and I have this and that. Everything has fallen into play and into place as you have seen. I haven't really done anything here which is wrong. I haven't done anything here which is a trick. Everything is legitimate, legitimate technique, starting with completing by the square factoring and then this. We know a was equal to one or two, b was equal to minus one or two, and it modified everything as such. Now you're looking at the integral of this, which is easy. Look at it separately. You're looking at one or two integral dx over x minus two minus one or two integral dx over x. When you do this right here, you have a 1 or 2 natural log x minus 2 antiderivative come out from here. You know that. This is a polynomial here to the power of 1. When you bring it up, it's to the power of minus 1. Then you bring the natural log. Here you're looking at minus 1 or 2 natural log x. You can bring everything here under a common natural log with the 1 or 2. You're looking at natural log. The difference of natural logs having the same base. Here the same base is exponential base e. You don't see it, but it's e is equal to their items in a quotient format. We're looking at x minus 2 over x. This right here plus c will complete your antiderivative and you're done. We can clean this up here. 1 over 2 natural log absolute value x minus 2 divided by x plus c and it's completed. The whole technique required you to recognize a completing by the square technique which could convert very well everything into a square minus b square, a minus b, a plus b format of factors you know all of this right here is under this dx, so the denominator should extend. But a minus b, a plus b, two good factors gave us our template, and you know what our template was. It was a divided by x minus 2, and it was 
And I'll put it here just for clarity. It's a divided by x minus 2 plus b over x. Remember, this you open this up, this became x minus 2, this became x. This was our template into which the a and the b values went, and it created that. Anyhow, the integration of that is easy. It brings us to our termination here for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, you can always bring any factoring technique to help you do partial fraction decomposition. Any factoring technique, you can bring it to the picture and it's legitimate technique. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.